just in case it crashes again. Save. And I'm into the hospital. Hooray. That's exactly where I need to go. Advanced locks. Pick pocket. Where's lock picking? Perfect. Yes. Wonderful. That duct tape in this hospital? Poor thing. Ranger, I'll take that. Can I go up to the ground floor? Justice will be administered swiftly and fairly. Second floor. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, time to fight. Going down. Do not attempt to flee. You will be identified and Where's the other elevator? Uh, are you freaking serious? All that for nothing. Going up. Second. <sighs> I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to jump off the building, that's all there is to it. <clears throat> Fuck the elevator nonsense, I'm jumping off the building. I feel...
feel much better about that. <sighs> Continuing onward. Swipe, I got the parts. Now I can build the stuff. got everything in place. We'll have to hook it all up to the same power grid. Uh, yeah, it... Whatever. Are we sure this is safe, dude? There's an awful lot of excess electrical arcing coming off of that thing. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? No. I have some things to do first. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's gonna work until we actually try it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go stash my power armor so you and no one else can have it. leg for this thing. <laughs> huh, wonderful. <laughs> I can see it above the house. Just wait right there. I have some things I want to do first. Such as dump excess weaponry that I'm not going to use.
Hmm. to do this. Hey, Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Yes. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Whenever you're ready. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, what? Yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. That doesn't look Don't worry good. about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh, just there for decoration. But it's okay. spraying something. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. No, not my butt. Way too late to grab my butt now. Hey, all sorts of cameras. Oh. What do we have here? <clears throat> uh huh. Oh, that's me. Error signal rerouted. Might as well get on with it. Hello. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Jammed. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, let's get on with it. Imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I've heard I'd a few like things, and I don't really think. The wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. My, what a big place you have here. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. 
For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions Wait, are often go back misinterpreted up. by those above ground. <coughs> Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Sean! Yes, I'm Sean. Sean, I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? You Sean, okay, dude? Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Who's father? Who is father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. <laughs> I know you. Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. And he falls down. But disappointing. Well, slumps over. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. <clears throat> we're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Who the what now? Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. Uh, yes, time to be sarcastic. Oh, God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you to realize what? that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well... Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. But your hair, that's gray. And mine's black. Okay, time for explanations. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take him. Not really. In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, 
and now it's later. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Hell of a story. But I guess it does make sense. I'm glad you're willing to accept the truth. It's quite encouraging. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. Mm, perfection. What they wanted was the perfect machine. And I suggest so they talking to the board. The best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create <coughs> synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. It yeah, thanks to the FEV. Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Oh yeah, and radiation. I totally forgot. To shield themselves from the world above. Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time. My question is why Protected didn't they take the samples from everyone there? Or just take everyone there instead of just one little infant? Cell in the Commonwealth. Seems kind I of was exactly uh, wasteful. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. <clears throat> um... Yeah, you've been here the whole time. Did you go anywhere, do anything? And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. Damn. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Now, let's talk about, um... things. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Yeah, but you didn't go rooting around inside his head like I do. Did. Do. Did. Done doodly did. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done... I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed. It's just how Institute, long, though? But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Let's talk about your mom. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Um, it was brutal, dude. You don't remember. You didn't see it the way I did. It was brutal. Yes, I'm sure it was. <clears throat> Sadly, the world has become a brutal, unforgiving place. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. 
and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Let's talk about the Institute, dude. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Yeah, they do need help. But they are afraid. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprise. The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, mm. the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important <coughs> breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Hmm, what about staying here? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes, that is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The well, Institute with the sterile white, yes. Better life than anything above ground. Throw in some black, We've some gold, and some red, and, and I'll stay. What it's I'll like. fucking never leave. I assure you that you are better off with us. Do what now? I was interior monologuing. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure about that? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Ah, eh, sure, why not? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. What's this? Bugger off. <coughs> Fucking roach. Ah. <sighs> Till next time, first save, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then I say goodbye. Goodbye.